I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> um, I will get into why I haven't seen you in a, a long time another day because a lot has happened and a lot is changing. Um, but today we're just going to talk about fun things because it's my hen do, which is British for bachelorette party. Um, in British English we say hen do for the women or stag do for the men. This has been rearranged many times due to Covid. I have no idea what we're doing. I have been told to bring my swimming costume. So I have got this amazing orange swimming costume. The only other time I've worn this, it was well, kind of salmon, isn't it? Uh, the only other time I've worn this is on our honeymoon. Uh, did I get a chance to wear this in the end? Because our honeymoon got cut in half, so I didn't actually wear <laughs> many bikinis. I've been told to bring my makeup bag, so I've got this. This is a makeup bag that Will got me ages ago with the initials that I'll have when we get married. Uh, but it's obviously taken a long time. I'm still LBE, not LBS yet. Um, and a change of clothes, so I've got that. It's kind of normal to have a big hen do with lots of girls, but mine isn't gonna be like that. Mine is my mum, my best friend Felicity, and my best friend Ellie. I can't, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to um, show you what happens because I have no idea either. Um, but it's just so nice to be at home. Whenever I go home, I just feel so hmm, grounded, I guess. Before we head off, I have another thing to show you. And this company have actually sponsored this segment of the video, which is hilarious because well, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> I did a skincare video a while back and I spoke about natural deodorants and how I only use natural ones. And back then I was using one with potassium alum, but I've decided to go completely aluminium free. And I have found the best company because not only are they aluminium free and all of the good ingredients that I like, they are also plastic free as well. It's the best setup ever. The company is called Wild and they basically do deodorants in reusable cases and all of the insides are plastic free as well. So it's your typical roll on, um, but it comes with these refills which are in bamboo cases. You don't take these off, you put them straight in. So they've sent me the leopard print case, which is just so beautiful. Wild have just launched their charity partnership with Born Free, where they're donating 50p for every leopard print case sold, which is so awesome. So you get one of these cases, you keep it, <laughs> and then you can get more subscriptions through the door with all of the refills. And they just smell amazing. Anyway, I'm not sure if this is how YouTube sponsorships are meant to work, but I've actually gone and ordered <laughs> this again. I've convinced myself. Um, I've ordered it for my mum and I've also ordered it for Will. I just find it so funny that I was sent this for a sponsorship and then I was so convinced that I ended up buying a load with my own money for my friends and family. I just think it's brilliant. Aluminium free, reusable, plastic free, smells amazing and I haven't smelt once. They've given me a code to give to you. It is Lucy Wild, and that will get you 20% off all products. So just click on the link in the description box, use the code Lucy Wild. I've already used it twice. <laughs> what a fantastic product. It's coming with me on the hen do today. I am getting so excited for the wedding now. This is where it's going to be. I'm not gonna tell you when, <laughs> but it's soon. Um, and yes, of course, we're getting married in the church there. We're having a big marquee in this garden and we'll be looking out over my parents' house, <laughs> which is where I grew up. I was not born here, here, but I've uh, lived here my entire life. My mum has been working really hard on the flowers and I think she's done a beautiful job. There. <laughs> that is the school that I went to from the age of four to nine. So it was all very local. <laughs> Oh, we have arrived at the Luton Who, which is a very nice stately home. What have you been planning? <laughs> but we're going to the spa. Are we? Oh! So I actually think we're going the wrong way. Look how beautiful. Oh, but we're not going to the house. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the spa. Oh my God, how exciting. The, the wedding that was there. How lovely! There's the peacock! There's the peacock. <laughs> I've just had the most magical massage and oh, look what I've been given. <laughs> I love it! So the fun 
funniest thing has just happened. I was just shouting about my um, deodorant. Turns out, they both love them too. We love her. They're lovely. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> I've had to take off my headband because it was giving me a bit of a headache. But I've just had the lovely Ellie Scott handle me vlogging. <laughs> But I've just had the loveliest massage and it does feel a little bit weird to be vlogging on my handy. Maybe this is a bit sad. I've come home to these wonderful balloons and I've been told that Ellie, my bridesmaid, had to ask my dad to put them up. <laughs> Sash, Sash. Sash, sorry. I'll get a drink. What were you going to do before? <laughs> we had a lovely weekend and Luke has come to say hello. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, Diego, you've got two sticks. That is amazing. Oh, because I am absolutely exhausted. Look at my happy boy. Not the most glamorous dinner tonight, but very beautifully cooked. Thank you. We're having sea bass and tender stem broccoli and sweet corn and a very exciting package. Oh, sorry, Will. Will's just been doing some farm work, so excuse. <laughs> Thank you. A very exciting package has just arrived. I think it's your ties for the wedding. Sure is. <gasps> I don't want to see them no, though. Can't open them no, you've got to open them in private, I think. And then this has just arrived as well. Diego, what do you think this might be? Oh, he knows, he knows. <laughs> Bless. One second, he accidentally, he didn't mean to, but he accidentally destroyed his old one, so. No, Diego, it's not off yet. Okay, you pull. <sighs> Yeah! <laughs> Diego, come here! Oh, he's so happy, it's his lion toy! He really missed it, we, it was all broken with all the um, fluff out of it. He doesn't normally damage toys, um, so we had it on a bag on the table, we we're going to see if we can mend it, and he was so upset! You're a happy boy, aren't you? I'm so glad he's got it back. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gone into relaxation mode now, he just sucks on it. So cute. Bless you. Are you happy? He um he needs it with his paws, like he's suckling on his mother. And we thought it was so strange. We were worried he was really missing her, even though he's an adult. But um I'm on a Facebook group with lots of other golden retriever owners and they all do it too. Bless you. They said their doggies do it when they're in absolute heaven. So I'm very happy for you, Diego. Before I go on a dog walk with Diego, the last one of the evening, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick citrus tree update because I know a lot of you are quite invested. Uh, so, the lemon. Uh, we've lost the yellow one. <laughs> it was quite good. In its place we have some more, lots of flowers. And then the lime has gone bananas. <laughs> Look at all of these. There are so many little limes actually probably too many i wonder if anyone's a citrus expert should i take a few off or do you think he's going to be okay i'm particularly excited about this one because obviously i used to live in seville it's not a seville orange tree but i just cannot hello <laughs> i cannot imagine how exciting it's going to be when i have oranges on my tree but they're so happy at the moment. And then the grand finale is my grapefruits. Look at these. I mean, these have been growing for over a year. That's not a tennis ball. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him to smile. Smile! Yeah! Say please! Oh, wow, you're really quite good at that. Um, and we do have, and we have a little secret one here as well. Oh, you're helping, thank you. <laughs> this here is my new toy. Well, it's not new, I've had it since I was 16, I think. Um, but I've been getting loads of use out of it in the nice weather. And I've actually been cycling to the gym, which I just think is the most genius thing ever. It's about six kilometers away. Um, and it takes me about 20 minutes to get there. So it's awesome, I absolutely love it, but I would like a road bike at some point because it is very heavy going up hills. I'll just quickly show you everything else I've been growing. Obviously my marvellous olive tree is very happy. 
My fig is not so happy. He wants to be in the ground, so he never even gives me fruit. <laughs> I grew this grass last year and it's self-sown again and it's called, oh, it's something. <laughs> is that? It's, is it called Fountain Sparkle or something? I'll put it in the description box, but it makes the most beautiful dried flowers. This is my pride and joy this year. These are wild strawberries. I've grown lots of them this year. I haven't had a single strawberry. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I'm gonna wait it out. My blueberries are doing really well. I might just try one there. <laughs> Do you know what? Not as good as last year. We had some terrible late frosts and it wasn't very happy. More wild strawberries here, more there. And then if I take you over here, this is very exciting. My dad gave me a load of sprouted potatoes to plant. So we've just done it as an experiment. They're not particularly happy under that tree and they're not very happy when Diego walks on them. Um, and I had two tiny potatoes from it the other day, uh, which were delicious if a little lacking. <laughs> right, we're gonna love you and leave you. Bye-bye. Thank you.